Well, hello, 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 and welcome. This is Julian with the Jewel Design, and I just realized I need to turn on my Do Not Disturb, so hopefully no one comes through. Wouldn't that be just terrible? All right, there we go. Oh, all right, it is a happy Monday afternoon or evening, depending. Um, I did not get this done yesterday, so of course it was not up first thing this morning, so sorry. Uh, but we do what we have to do. So today I am working on uh, using a little bit of stuff that's in the shop. And definitely inspired by Little Rat Chandler over at Vintage Paper Girl. Uh, last week she did the file folder bookmarks. Um, or bookmarks with all kinds of different papers. And one of them being file, using file folders, which we have in the shop. We have a shabby chic um, set of file folders. And pocketed, like, expanded file folders. So they're really cool. Um, we haven't done anything with those yet. I think she, well, she did some in Amy Crafty Cat and... Uh, there's a couple ladies out there who have played with the expanded, expandable file folders with extra pockets, which are really fun to cut and turn and twist and make folios out of. So, anyway, um, so we have file folders in the shop um, in three colors. They come together, pink, brown, and um, this manila envelope. But I wanted to take another twist. She did um, digitals and scrapbook paper, and I wanted to use both napkins and tea bags. Um, to Maj Podge onto a bookmark, tab, tab bookmark, because I want to start working on, you know, the European kit, digital kit, so I thought I needed some inspiration, I needed some, um, I had a mojo going here, because I've got all the photos printed, or all the photos were sent off to be printed from the trip, now i got to sit digitally and start playing with them and see if I can get a kit out of it, but it's, I'm a little, um, apprehensive, I, uh, I haven't done a, a full journal kit in some time. Um, and so I don't know. I am. Um, I don't know, guys. I'm a little, it's, 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 it's daunting. So I don't know. So I'm trying to get my mojo to see if I can, you know, and of course I'm trying, I need to find like three days to sit and do a kit. If I can get three straight days, I can sit and get a kit done or I used to. So I don't know. I'm either, I'm a little, so what we're going to do is as you see, I'm probably going to cut the bottom corner or middle section of each one of these napkins. These are the little tea napkins that came from, El from, uh, Salzburg, Austria, the home of Mozart, and, you know, has an, has an Elizabeth in it, um, with a right lovely gown. It almost looks like a wedding gown. But I, like I said, I don't know. I'd have to look, I'd have to search the photo and see if it's our Queen Elizabeth way back when, or just an Elizabeth, because it has a signature. It makes you wonder. Okay, so, we are just crafting, chatting, and we are working on this, and, um, like I said, I am definitely, I saw Lorette do her bookmarks, and I was like, ooh, that's a great way to use up, like a way to use the napkins. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to collage, I'm going to mod podge and collage on these, like we would do with other um, covers and things. So I did just take the corner, I really want the lighter version. Um, I want these guys. I'm going to do it in the middle here because I want these guys facing different directions. Both the stamped version and the older version of him. And that's, I figure with these guys, because they're so little and they're an 8x8 total, um, that you have these little rectangles to play with, right? And you can use it as you see fit. A little bummed to be, yeah, because I can rip, I can tear this out on the bottom. I can tear out some extra um, uh, note. Uh, music notes, that's what I'm trying to go at. Uh, there's so different things we can do. So I'm hoping to just be able to use, utilize, and use, you know, everything accordingly. And hope that this is enough that when I'm done, between that and some, um, we're going to do some stamped tea bags. I made cold brew tea the other day. And um, I was like, oh, I haven't played with a tea bag in forever. And someone was making their own sort of distressed... Um, I should know who it is, too. Um, distressed, like, washi tape. And I was like, hmm. But I thought the I, same idea came across, though. Because here I have, like, this one's really pale, and this one's a little darker. Still has, uh, has all the, it still has a bunch of tea on it. I keep trying to get all of it off. But um, I think we're going to go for the lighter one. Because it has a little bit more um, dimension in it. And we're going to stamp some of my favorite botanical um, 
ordeals, and I am sort of offsetting it. I'm gonna try to create a pattern, ha ha. Right? Easier said than done. Mm. Line them up. So I'm just trying to see if I can get some some stuff on here where we can sort of create a botanical tea bag, you know. Um I'm sorry, I always get it on the edges though. That's what I don't get. Like I either get nothing or I get everything. Hmm. Alright, so we're gonna do it again, but this time I know. I'm doing it all in threes. I don't know. I should probably do them individually, but I will. I wanna do that. Do do do. I'm gonna go back and do more in different ways. But I thought I'd give this a shot, make this thing, because then we can rip it and take the pieces to help fill in over or behind the other napkins to where <clears throat> that sort of worked. Okay, we'll see. Tear it. I want the edges where I can yeah, I can get I can tear bits and pieces and still collage them down. Um, but we do oh it went right through. Well thank gosh we're covering all that up. Who knew? Right, now when you're Maj Podging and you're using when you're using napkins definitely as um, part of your oh, there we go. You want to take as many of the extra layers off because when you um, are Maj Podging onto something, you want to be able to see through maybe one to the next. If there's certain parts that you don't want to bleed through, you may not take out as many. Like if I want her to be pretty solid and I don't want her to fade out, I may leave one of these whites behind her so she doesn't bleed out. But like the green, I may want be really, I may want that to overlay. So I'm gonna you know take out all the white. Now on this one, I'm definitely feeling like I want to get around her. I do want, yeah, this is gonna be the hard part. I do want to, yeah, the best we can. It's not gonna be perfect. Of course it's not. Um, I sort of want her on the bottom. I did want to be able to see this. Now I may go down the middle with this and put this elsewhere because I'm like, well, I want the green to go through, at least especially in the front, in a couple of different areas, right? So I'm leaving the white behind her to a point because I don't want it to bleed out where I can't see her. But this on the other hand, even if I do it upside down, because I don't mind, I may decide that this needs to be more there and I didn't already fit his, so he needs some work. I don't know if I want to go him all the way to the top, and I may want to put that music paper. I'm really bad at this, guys. I'm like, hmm, has his name on it. So I might want this, these two to overlap a little bit more, right? Or even do this. Let's see if we can maybe mod podge it in this way. Because I only need about two inches. So I do need to cut this so I know exactly what I'm working with, so I am not guessing at it. I think I know I want to put some flowers. I may put one of these. Oh, wow, that was bad. Maybe I put this because in the back side, in the back. I don't know. Now I'm kicking myself for even doing that. Um, I can drag this up and put it behind her and him. Maybe we put him higher and put some, uh, put, uh, so I want to put maybe a flower cluster here and one up here. And then we definitely need, probably need more for the back. So she's, he's facing one way. She's facing the other. I only need two, about two, two and a half inches for a thing. I have some more green if I need to fill it in somewhere. And I have that for the back. So, plus I have some um, sticker flowers. Um, I got a set of the see-through, um, sort of like a washi tape, but a clear, sort of shiny, pressed floral uh, stickers that I have in the shop. Right now we have some really pretty pinks, blues, purples, and green uh, yellows with green accents and whatnot. They all come with a few wash, what looks like washies, not washies, um, wax seals, and they're in different colors. So you get like 16 pieces. I'll have a fall set going out soon. They're definitely more in the oranges and browns. Um, so yeah, we've got, oh, duh, and then we have this, caramel. I need things, so I think we can overlap except for her faces. I don't want to do her face, but anything we want, we're just gonna sort of you know, put to good use here and we're going to let it do its thing. So maybe we're going to overlap it a little. Yeah, we're just going to try to overlap it and 
and put it in there and glue it down and we do need to pop a pop of color though so this is a little um, bland but we can go up here with it and have him overlap because when you mosh podge it down this is going to bleed in some of these are going to bleed the only ones that won't bleed as much is she'll be on top so that we don't wash her out and accidentally cover her up now if you ever had you know, a background of some sort that you didn't really want to show up, up as much you use the white tissue first you put it down to help reduce whatever's going on here so maybe it's not as dark or it's not as bright sometimes when we have fabrics and stuff we don't really care for the background so we'll put down some white and cream um, napkins first before we start adding the colors that we want when we're trying to do like a napkin fabric um, cover so little things like that so first off we need to cut this now my journals are usually nine by nine by six so the insides are only about eight eight and a half um, and we're gonna have this section up here glued down so from here down you know we're gonna get it um, standing out so let's look to see if two or two and a half inches is enough but yeah, I thought, well, if I start making a little bit of ephemera, bits and pieces of what I want to do, then maybe, you know, and what's left over here gets used, of course, later for whatever. So, um, let's see, two inches is really not that wet, but it's about right. I don't think I want more than two inches, really, for a bookmark. Two and a half almost feels too wide. And that's a really big bookmark. Yeah, I don't want a very wide big bookmark. Okay, so we're going to stay to two inches. It's very narrow. So that's okay. I may not need all that. I may not be white enough. Hmm. Because now I'm putting her on there and she's right there. I don't need that part, huh? I could move it over a little bit more to get a little bit of the column in there and then I'm going to have to tear off the rest and add it maybe to the back or something. Hmm. Okay. That's all right. Now I don't need the bottom. Like I said, I don't do my book pages are only about eight inches um but which is right there and the nice side is because we're taking this what is it a good half an inch glued down you know it's going to bring it up towards seven and a half inches so this will almost go to the bottom of the page which is fine for that first bookmark i might cut it off a little bit more i don't know if i do that yeah we'll go we'll go seven three quarters how's that top off which is good now the back definitely suggests that we only go to about five inches um, that what leaves us as a the back of the bookmark is not as tall you can leave it the same she did do a few where they were exactly the same length um, but these leave cute little makes a tab and makes a little indent of any sort if I wanted to fold that up see it because I accidentally cut a little bit I could glue it make it a little pocket we can totally you know turn this into other ephemera so it goes into my stash of stuff. But the back is definitely shorter where it's just going to be a lot of fabric um, and whatnot. And, or not fabric, but flowers and stuff. And a little bit of indent. So that when it's glued down, it'll be a nice little tuck. So this part's easy. I'm not worried about that. It's this one. Okay. So I will probably round everything on the bottom later. But I'll keep that in mind. And what's going up here, I think I'm going to use this. It's the same width. Um, I want to wrap this over the top for our tab I think it'd be pretty being the broke the being what we need now I have a watered down Maj Paj which is what we normally use um, old trick from Gail Augustinelli and um, you sort of use a 50-50 now mine is probably more water than it is Maj Paj but I sort of reach down with my thing and I definitely um, yeah I think it's more water than it is anything else okay I need We'll use the we'll use these napkins. I don't know. It may be too much water. I'm gonna leave that little gold bit on the bottom. I really like it. Now I'm trying not to put too much glue across the top of these guys because I don't want to rip anything, but I do need to get enough down so it stays. <laughs> so just another way to decorate up your um mm, hold on guys. Another way to decorate up your bookmark. And am I in the camera? Nope. Choo -choo -choo. Um, another way to decorate up your bookmark. Just using a file folder and napkins. And just a cute way to use these napkins. 
I was so stoked to find these. I was like, oh, it's one of, you know, one of my favorite composers. And, of course, we found it in Europe, and I was all stoked. All right. Hopefully she doesn't get too... She, see if I can flatten her out and not give her an, any, any wrinkles there. Oh, no, don't want to wrinkle her. I'm like, can't have a wrinkled face. She's so young. <laughs> But you do just sort of cover it up. Now, what I might want to do, yeah, is open this up so I don't get everything wet. All right, so problem is I have this over here that I'm really bummed about. If you get it wet enough, you can actually rip it, but you can wipe it down. I'm not minding the texture because actually I could probably um, ink that when it dries. And... Um, <laughs> Being as thin as it is, I might put this one back over here. We're not going to use that other side. Now, I know that I'm putting stuff up here, but I still want to, um, you know, make sure I have a nice clean covering up here, even if. Do, do, do. Enough. Do, do, do. Okay. Trying to get it down and let it bunch. You know we want him up here. Same thing now. I really, I hate to rip anything else, but he seems a little heavy trying to put him here without, with that line. I don't want too many line lines. So what I might do is leave this little tidbit for the back side. Right? I can use this in the bottom of the back as my little bit. Yeah, this may be pretty wet. I don't know if there's been enough glue in here. We may have to touch it up later with, with glue in another way. We get this started to see if there's just enough Mod Podge glue actually in it. Um, I can do a little bit of this and then add maybe more of a um, cluster. Anything that's not glued down, or you can keep gluing it down, just gets torn, not a big deal. I want to do, let's see, we need a flower, and I do not need all of this. I don't want to cut it too much in a weird way, because I do need a lot of it for the back, but I want to get, that's too big. Mm, sort of could do that, but it's not really, hmm, maybe. I'm like, what can we do here? Ooh, with the butterfly, maybe even. Maybe I can get the butterfly in there. Hope you're all doing well. Um, it definitely covers up some of that green. Oh, that's a bummer. Mm, my, well, it's going to go through. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Um, I just heard from my, my, my daughter that parts of Texas was looking at hurricane warnings. Um, I guess we're in the southern end of Texas. Her friend potentially, two of her friends were potentially getting hit with with um, an oncoming hurricane, so they didn't think they could game this week. Right? Couldn't do any online gaming with each other because they might not be um, have any, you know, have any real. Uh, what's the word? Um, so once it's dry, you, we can cuddle this up and make it really clean. I'm a little. This is a little more. Um, not as. It's not as. What's the word? I'm going to bring it up a little bit and see what I can do because I know that our two inches is here. I wanted to cover it up. It's a little harsh for me, the line, as it's ripping. Um, and so I want to be able to maybe not leave that be so... It is so dark compared to everything else that I don't want to make it too obvious that there's a... And I can find something else to cover that. Um, I don't want to make it so obvious that there's, you know... A definition. So when we put the stuff over the top, that'll help. I need a little bit of eek. Where was it? I had a little piece somewhere. Oh, there it is. Um, I guess we could probably just cover a little bit of. It's already. It's more yellow on yellow, so I don't know. It's not very dark. Here, let's see if we can find a darker corner. I'm gonna need a little darker, actually. There we go. Something to help hide the fact that that's just file folder right there. Anyway, yeah, so parts of Texas may have gotten hit with a hurricane. Um, California is getting massive hot spells, hot, hot heat, heat waves. They said it would cool down for a day, and then they're like, oh, we're having more heat coming. And I'm like, eh. 
so yeah, by midweek, we're lucky to be um, in San Francisco for a day. And so it'll it, for them, it's going to be warm. You know, 70 degrees in San Francisco in July is warm. So, but we'll be like 95 again. And I'm like, ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, mm, I'm like, can I go back to London where it's it's cool again? <laughs> London would be beautiful. London would be like 70 and maybe a chance of the sprinkles and I'd be happy, right? Okay, so we've got that. Now, with that, if I really wanted to, once it's dry, I'm thinking about adding, right, a flower. Something to bounce off her with a different dimension to fill in that gap. So we're, we may put that, can I, can we see? No, because I'm in the non- we may put that yellow flower, which of course you can't see because there's a glare. Um, maybe the yellow flower right there, okay? And then I can put, which it looks like there's some room, maybe if I really want it. It's really dark though, maybe not. Maybe we'll do the green one. Um, pop a blue um, faux wax seal up there. So I'm thinking about those two there. Now, hard part is I can't, we're gonna have to do this one. Oh no, it wouldn't be upside down. Sweet, okay, now. We know we wanted him, but if he's here, I already have that bottom piece, so I don't need that one. I have to use that for something else. Well, we got those little pieces, right? So I'm gonna have to make some cute little thing with all these scraps. You know me. I love using scraps. We'll have to make a little mosh posh something later. Okay, so I'm thinking we do that there. I definitely want more flower in this one, of course. Where's my fold right there? Yeah, that's my fold. Okay. All right. I wanted to see where my fold was. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I know we have heat. I know we're dealing with, I don't know what else, lots of things, right? I can try to come over, but you're definitely going to see it. Mm, I can almost do that there. Have her halfway him over and get a bit of the green. I don't know which, it's upside down. I know it is, but... I'd rather have the column in there than anything else, right? Mm. So let's go here, and then the, the, the this all the way up, pretty much on the fold there. We'll do that over it, and then definitely we're gonna want to put you know, washi and either the bottom of this one or I have a pink flower I may put, you know, down here. So very floral, very something. Those greens I can use over here. Okay. I didn't have any of this. That's okay. I love this and I think this is going to be fun to use elsewhere. But yeah, I just took my thing and I may stamp more of it and see what else we can do. But I need to stamp both of those and see what happens. I think that'll be a fun little project. Okay. Let's get this going and see what happens, right? Let's see what happens. So yes, I am using the white, um, whatever you want to call it right now, to a uh, napkin to sort of be my tablecloth, because I do not have my pad down. I, I know better. I think because there's times there's such a glare, I don't think anything of it. I think I'm getting to that point, too, where the um, this is like, yeah, I may have to change it out soon. Might have to change it out soon. Let's see, get that wet again. I'm about right there about the full on about uh, about the fold and I'm just going to try to keep it in that fold line it's okay to have it go over at least that way you know everything is covered and then you can like I said tear it cut it trim it whatever to make it um you know a nice clean off the page bleed off and you're not well I like how that turned out and then I'm like yeah let me go do this so yeah a little glue down below a little mod podge glue wet glue whatever and then you put it over the top, and he definitely blends right in. Mm. So he needs a little white behind him. I cannot see him. That is not going to work for me. Even in this paper, is pretty thin. And yeah, we don't see him at all. He's just a weird stamp. Mm. Let's see if we can get him at least somewhat partially attached here. So we can see him, and then I can just rip off whatever we don't need. I'm like, I can't see him. That is not going to do. Um, I'm like, nope. Well, you know. That's a fun thing. 
we go. A little white's fine. Uh, helped a little bit. Not much, but it helped a little bit. Oh, you know, on the fly, what can you do? Oops, let's get you. So I hope you're all doing well. Hopefully, the, between the heat in California and the West Coast, um, I hope, you know, if you are in Texas, that you're all okay. Uh, back East, I hope everything's behaving itself. A lot of people are off running around, which is great. I have a number of friends who are, uh, I came home and they, they're leaving to go back to Europe. One was hitting Amsterdam. One was um, in instant, Instable, instant, Instantinople. Um, you know, just having, you know, fun. They're having, hitting their things. So I was like, oh, cool. I came home and everybody's taking off. So we're all doing our thing, I guess, in Europe this year. Who knew? Ah, some of us are finally getting old enough to do that, right? Kids are getting older or, um, you know, or they're just old enough to where we can go do all this. Okay. So my whole part is I have a hard time getting this to dry, like wait for it to dry. And that is the only downside to this right now. So, um, well, rude. I mean, I guess I could clip it and then come back and decor it. But I mean, there's things. So when it is dry, then you can take your brushes and your inks and slightly brush over any, uh, any actual um, crinkles that happen to still be around. So you can get some, um, what's the word? Oh. You can, you know, you can totally enhance all these wrinkles by putting um, ink over it. Like we do with embossing, embossing. I think the same thing would work for the most part. And then, um, sorry, I thought I heard something else. Okay, I could cut it, but I always know that if I cut it too soon, then it ends up ripping, and I'm like, no. I mean, I could totally try to wrap it around so that the inside of the, you know, but you're going to know that there are, you know, rough edges or weird edges on the inside. There's going to be a little bit of paper under here, but there's not really any glue, so I don't know. Right now, we'll just, we'll just fold it in just to get it going so we can sort of see what this puppy looks like. Finish. I feel like I'm out of camera the whole time now. It is because we're so, um, it's so long. All right, here we go. There's that. And then, yeah, I'm going to try to save that part for something else. But, you know, here's sort of, we're starting to get a feel for what our bookmark would look like. This is very long because it gets folded up here. And it'll get glued down. So this is the only downside. This is not a quick. This is not a pop it in and walk away because it is water and needs to dry. Though it's plenty warm out here, it won't take long. But um, I'll have to decorate it and take photos on Instagram to show you or on the next one. Okay, so I'm going to go put this over really quickly over on my... Um, I also going to be turn, turning on my... Um, what's the word? My dryer here so when I'm done with you guys. So that'll take care of that problem. So we're going to enhance it with some ink and we're going to enhance it with some stickers. Um, the floral stickers that I have, um, they're in yellow, they're in purple, they're in pink, blues, but you get a packet of them. And, um, those are just some of my, those are my extras, but yeah, loving that. Okay. So yeah, we have these lovely napkins in the shop and I can't wait to see what they do. Now here, I know now I want to decorate that and figure some, do something with that. Of course I do. Now, now it won't do as well. I know this cute little tab, I could decorate it and just... Um, sorry for my reach, guys. Mm. I need, I rearranged a few things. <sighs> All right. I have that tab. I could cover it both ways. Green, whatever. Utilize it later. I have this. I think this would actually be really cute across here with a hint of something. I wish I could get that hint of that line. Get that line in there just a little bit. Put this over it. Guess I'm mosh podging some more. I mean, you could just color over it. Not color over it. You could probably just do glue straight down. Glue stick even. Let's see something here. And there's another alternative to this. I'm just used, used, so used to using, whoops, Mosh Podge for everything. Mm. That, when it comes to tissue at least, I think because it is so light and it helps cover and gloss front and back, or top and bottom. Mm. Yeah, you could use a glue stick. It does work. Of course, I balled it up so once it goes down it goes down okay and then we could do this there is a gap there but I can fix that I think sorry off camera get some glue in there
Mm. Yeah, we do um, have all kinds of stuff in the shop now. We have bone folders. We have the toppers. Laurette provided us with some of these lovely glue toppers um, to help keep your glue bottles from um, drying out or getting weird or crusty. So, you know, once these are open, they get dry real easy. So having that in there, which I just realized my black pin isn't in my... I put a little black pin inside my topper uh, for the glare glue to help keep it a little less. Um, just the topper never worked for me. I need a pin on in it on top. Can't do just the pin. It, they can rust. You can't do just the topper. I personally need to fill that both work for me. And for the um, fabric tack, though, it's fine. Just the topper works nicely. And, you know, once they go bad, they go bad. You throw them away and you start over. So anyway, we have a new set of toppers in there. Thanks to the little rat. She had a, a stockpile of stuff. She's like, wait a minute. I don't need all of these. So we're sharing those. We like it. And we like the concept. And they sell out quickly. Then I will continue to stock them. Now, where is my... Hmm. So now, now once it's dry and things are cut, you can go back and do your inking. Right? This I'm not using the big old whatever, so I can actually get to it a lot quicker. Now, I feel like we're going to keep using this and see what it does. I'm sort of curious. I have hmm, any number of spots, but I think I need a little more ink. I want a few more things. But I hope your weather's well. I hope you're having a fun time. If you get a moment in between your beach vacations and uh, summer off with grandkids and um, I, one of them, one of our favorites has been watching her son playing base, or grandson playing baseball and they're doing really well so we keep our fingers crossed that he, they go as far as they need to championships or whatever. That's very cool. I think it's awesome. Um, it's one of my other favorite stamps so I'm just going to fill in the gaps with this one. Now I'm sorry, but we didn't use a lot of it, so I'm like, okay. But I am creating my own little tea bag, scrap paper, whatever. Right? Look at that. Oh, isn't that just fun? Oh my gosh. Yay! Okay. Well, that's a new favorite thing. Well, like I said, I, got, I forgot we had cold brew um, tea bags. And so I was like, Hello. Um, made tea the other day, and I was like, wait a minute, don't chuck the bags. Let's see how they turn out. So we're going to go up as high as I can without having my indent get in the way. So, yeah, let's let's try this. Let's see how the glue works on this end. I'm very curious how my, you know, Uno whatever, Uno, you know, UHU stick blue magic works on this and how it dries. I guess that's the other making sure it dries. Um, without issues. Now we're with glue to glue, and I'm fine with that. We're gonna fold this up, so it's not gonna make a difference. But look at that. We're making we're gonna make a tiny little embellishment pocket because I can't help myself. Since everything else has to dry, we might as do we got to do something. I can't not. Right, so so far that's staying. Absolutely adorable. Got a little color down here. Now this is where a ooh, I got a beige one. Do we want to do beige or purple? Hmm. I'm trying to see what's on these things that would make sense, right? I'm like, I don't want to put just anything, but you know, it is something that can go in my journal. Um, is that a swan? No, what is that? Oh, it's a music note. Oh, well, that was sort of with wings. That is sort of cute, actually. And it's sort of blue and sort of purple. It helped me with this weird corner. There's a little bit of bluish purple hanging out. So we're going to have a slight field day here. Actually, yeah. I'm like going, hmm, hold on. And do we enhance this in the middle? Except, you know, with that. But then, or off to the side. So that, I know you guys can't, it's the only downside, it doesn't glue well. Put one here inside, one there. But I'm going to put something in it. I know I'm going to put embellishments in it, but what, I don't know. Some other just... Maybe not put that in there, because whatever whatever we tuck in there... I may tuck that in there later, but let's see. I just wanted to use some stuff that I knew was in the shop and get you guys acquainted with what's there. All right, hold on. So, um, let's get a little bit more ink here. 
before we get into it. It does have a little indent, but and I think yeah, if we just use stickers, and I'm gonna I'm gonna glue down the sides here. Um, more scraps. No. I hope the weather's behaving. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. So far, I I can't believe it's already July, and you know we're the eighth of July. If anything else, it's like, oh, here we go again. Here's another month that's just going to zoom by. And it's sad because really the girls are mm, 35 days and they're back in school. Yeah, not on my top 10 list. And they have the oddest schedule. And as I've complained about before, so yeah. Um, and they're just stickers. Really simple, really cute, nice and see-through. So that, you know, they're not superimposing. They're easy cut, so what the outside is in a clear sheet. So we got the music note on on with feathers. We got a little green, a little bit of them playing there. Um, let's get a little bit of our glue and get the corners down. Yeah, see that's what it, my only downside is my thing is see I don't have my I don't have my needle in there. <sighs> yeah, no, this heat is not helping me. I've been they've been in, they've been in the house, but I think I brought these out last night thinking I was going to be doing this yesterday afternoon. Got caught up kind of talking to a f new friend or a new parent I shouldn't say friend yet um, a new parent grandparent of my daughter's and um, getting to know them since she was you know spending the night and so I was like mm, yeah need to know what's going on and get to know them and they get to know us and <clears throat> so I did not make it home like I thought I would to do this and I got sidetracked with the oldest so we did not I did not get back out here so they were out here last night, which, mm, not great. It did cool off pretty quickly, but it's cooler today than it has been, but still, I can feel it. It's still very warm. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm thinking about rounding the corners on the top, at least with a little quarter inch, just to soften it up. It is a little embellishment pocket, but there we go. Now we can glue it down somewhere on a page, and you can just tuck a little something in the corner here, right? Oops, that didn't stick. Um, the whole goal is then tuck a little something in it, which I think is what we're going to do. We're going to find somewhere just to glue it on a page when we get to that point, whether it's a... Let's glue something in there. Put something in there. But it's a little embellishment. And we could do it even where it's glued and glued so we can tuck behind it and tuck in it. But it uses up my little guys. uses up some scraps. Make, keeps it to the notes and the, the fun of the event. Put that ink back on. There we go. We're, we're collaging with, with tissue paper and tea bags that we inked and using up scraps of file folder, right? File folder material to do just that. Ta-da! So yeah, what you think is you would put some kind of embellishment, some kind of, you know, little here, a little tag, a little, t you know, flowers, um, a little, I don't think I have any. Um, technically, this was a, this was a ticket or something, you know, you could put that in there. It's not the right size, but yeah, um, you would just put something cute and little, one of our stamps, one of our tickets, something like that. You would just put a few little cute things in it. Mm -hmm. That would be the idea. Ta -da! So we'll put that there because, yes, I am going to be using them for later, so I don't want to lose any of them. Uh, well, that's not what I thought those were. I thought they were something else. And I'm like, oh, those are moons with flowers on it, maybe. The other one's science. It's like a science. Oh, I don't want science. Oh, geez, I'm glad I didn't put that one on anything. The blues are pretty bright and pretty deep for what I'm doing, so I may not want the blue ones. Yeah, the blue ones are a little interesting. They're very sciencey, which I thought was sort of odd. That one is is enough where you might be able to get away with it. So we'll put that in there too. Okay. Ta da! But these are going in the, an a book of some sort. So whether it's my personal one or Oh, it'll probably work the new kit when I get it going with you guys, and I'll just have to decide whether or not the journal will get sold or whether the journal will be something I use. I know, I, like I said, I did print over, I had over, gosh, over 300 photos I sent to Google Print or Amazon Print to get going with. I'm like, oh my gosh, because I want the physical for myself and our uh, uh, album and uh, and the journal, that I, the little journaling book that I started. But then I also want to take some of them and cut them up and then 3D and enhance images that are within the kit. So, you know, I want a little bit of both. I really do. So, okay, so put the other ones off to the side. I'm loving this. We're going to use this all up. 
I should probably do this the same thing, but I'll have to find some other stamps that I like. I know there's some stuff on it, but I'm going to have to find some more stamps and go, hmm, I want to do that. So we'll fold it carefully and tuck it into my little pocket over here. I have a pocket over here of that kind of fun startup stuff. So leave it to where hopefully I can see it. And, you know, all is good. So next on the agenda, that's pretty much what it is. I will go pull the paper right now real quick for you so you can see it, but I don't think it's... It's, it has not um, dried as much as I would have liked. I can tell you that right now. Oh, I didn't think about that. And as warm as it is, I didn't think much of it. I was like, hmm. I get my stamps all. <laughs> really should probably be doing that on that other one, huh? I don't know what I was thinking. I should have put it on the... Well, I know I have other stamps that I might like to use. So right now I'm just turning the ink off. And you never know. Maybe I'll use this later. I don't really ever... Sometimes I need some weird something. And so, you know, I pull it out and I cut it up, or get circles out of it. Like I could get out of the middle here, try to get a circle out of it. I coin something for layering. So, yeah, never know. Okay. Yeah, these were cute. I don't know if these were Michaels or I even Michaels. I don't know. I've had these for some time. I've had them for quite some time, actually. So, all right, I'll put those away later because I don't want to reach up too far. Oh. But yes, next is definitely, I think we're going to get not quite Christmas in July, um, just because I don't have anything Christmas, but I do have, I want to cover a disc and disc and add a button and add a snowflake to it. I want to do a disc. We have to take these signatures and we need to add inside and out. Because remember, there is two pieces to each one of these signatures, so I need papers inside. I don't need outside, sorry, we don't want to do anything outside. I think it's all inside papers, and that's a signature, potentially a, um, middle of the signature. So we got to put papers in the middle of each one of these, which is this blue kit right here. Doesn't have the name on it. Oh, I have to look it up. Anyway, so yeah, we have those blue pages to add to these three signatures. And then once I have that, I have to go and decide which book I want to um, pull apart. And they're both Dollar Tree, so nothing vintage in any way. But we do have two blue, do two blue covered vintage books in the shop. Um, and where you have the vintage papers on the inside. So they're great for pockets and fillers and ephemera pieces that you can make. And then the cover is great to use for any kind of hard co hardcover journal that you want to do. Um, or if you love doing altered books, that journal, those journal, those books that we bought are probably good for that too. Um, we need a little TLC on the cover to make sure they don't fall apart. But the books that we have in the shop are definitely great to pull apart and reuse. This is a Dollar Tree one though. I think it's my blue one has this pink cover. So I'd have to take one of these sheets and definitely cover it because that's bright pink, but it's right blue. I feel it's a great dark blue for this where I could add all my whites and my silvers and my blues to it and we'd see it. When the purple is pretty, it does pull the color from here. And if I kept it as, I was keeping it as mine, maybe because I love purple, but as a winter snow book, I have the inside's easy to use. I don't know. I think it's um, too purple. I think my purple book, if I wasn't doing the altered book, if I decided I don't want to do the tap book, I think this one could be fun as an altered book that I could put a bunch of my ideas in it. So don't think I'm going to use this one. I think it's too, and I think it's a little thick. I don't think I need as much space. So um, sometimes, yeah, we go and buy, you know, books from Dollar Tree just for the color, the, just the color, for the color of their cover. Because it is, you know, makes it easier for us where we don't have to cover it up from top to bottom. That blue one, though, does have that hot pink cover. So um, that is going to be, yeah, even this, I'm like, oh, my gosh. So I'm going to have to put something over here like this, maybe torn a little bit on both sides, put lace over it. We do have the silver. Um, I have this. I just don't know. You know, it does fold. I can use it that way. It does fold well enough. Um, if I wanted it to go through, I just don't have time to open and close it if it's going to get in the way. You know, it fits nicely. So, but I still have to put something under over this, give us that rip torn antique feel edge because we don't want this pink and we don't want the pink on the inside. But really, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to do it more this way where maybe it's just one end, it's over the middle, you know. But again, I still have to do something to cover this, even if it's just within the spine work here, paper that just goes over here just enough. And then I can always put embellishments down the side and, you know, things like that. So. That is our next project, is to get um, 
this cover going. Like, I need to get the signature down. Pull out the papers and cover the inside, which, ooh, let me see. I'm sort of curious, really quick, because where am I at? I'm at 45 minutes, all right. Yeah, it's attached and it isn't. It's funny how it's attached over here. Like, you can see it here, but not here. And usually you pretty much pull out the whole kit and caboodle here. Oh. I'm like, I'm flopping paper. Um, and see, there's the binding and stuff. So, yeah, I could easily get this out, but I don't think I want to rip it so badly that I have to cover up so much. So, I don't know. Maybe not. I may have to go over it. Mm, that did not work as I was hoping. I should have just slid it. I know better. Right? I know better. But I have to cover it, so I don't know. I really don't know. I know that I'm going to have to slide it, sli slice it somehow to, um, she has my, my child has my exacto knife. Eek. Um, I'm gonna have to do something no matter what because I do have to get this these papers out of it. If I just want the cover, you gotta get this bunch of papers out. Strange fascinations of mm, I have no idea who that is. Hypnotic? Hmm. All right, so yeah, I got to do a little TLC. I won't do that on the camera. I'm gonna have to figure out how to slice all this out uh, very carefully and then debate on whether or not I'm gonna pull that off and recover and what I'm gonna cover it with. I don't think I have snowflake. I do have a small felt. I do have a soft felt fabric, so maybe I'll give it some padding on this end. Where I just cut, I do the um, shears, cut it to cover up. But I don't know if I want to. Mm, I know it's hiding everything. I don't know. All right, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna hem and haw over it. I'm like, no, no, no. But yeah, I gotta figure out how to get the pink covered, the pages out, keeping the blue itself together. And then adding in enough pages to where all three signatures leave this, you know, don't leave it full enough to where it's not wonky every time we use it. So, yeah, ha, -ha. fun stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me go look at our bookmark real quick and see how it's drawing. But this is our next project is Winter E. It is not Christmas, I'm afraid. All my Christmas stuff is packed away. I don't think I have any, I don't even have the kits. Like the kits are even packed away. I, I pretty much keep my Christmas kits and my fall kits in their own boxes. Um, because yeah, there is no way I would not be able to <laughs> have enough room if I left them down and out. So it's drying. It's still pretty damp. So I'm definitely going to want to, um, definitely going to want to go and, um, put this in front of some kind of heat source because it is not drying and it will definitely have some oomph to it. It'll have some wrinkle, it'll have some texture to it because it will be, um, here we go, little bits. It's definitely going to have some wrinkle, some whatever to it because it is, you know, so damp. And then when we do our thing, mm -hmm. mm, that's a little bit here and there, right? Okay. I'm not going to keep every little thing, but all right. Well, there we go. We are working on a... Um, bookmark that is going to fit our theme for our hopefully new European kit. Oh, cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen, I get to that. Um, my daughter wants her room done on top of everything else, so that's a project within itself, trying to finish off the last of cleaning and getting it painted. Once this painting won't be so bad, the rest of the decor will be, you know, oh, put this here, put that there, sell this, do that. But it's the painting. It's the painting and the primer. I gotta cover baby pink and I gotta cover mint and I gotta cover medium a medium to light purple. Yeah, a lot of primer. Gotta need some primer. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the light and airy, but another way to do post same basics using a file folder for a bookmark um, that is you know then glued on the top so that it can be tabbed in. If you glue it down right here, then this little bit sticks out. The rest is a nice bookmark. And, and it allows us to, you know, we're going to be doing a little bit of glue stick, I think, as things dry to see what will or won't stick. So it's not a perfect. Um, make sure you have a better maybe ratio than I do. I think it's a 50-50 on um, when you're, when your Mod Podge is not not a cluster, a clump, I think, um, I think that you can mix, you know, a s small amount of water to it and you can make it a little lighter, but... I did notice lately. Yep, see, it's not working. Oh, so, 
Um, I think last time I used my Mod Podge, I just went straight for the Mod Podge and just used it as a glue. And because this isn't working. Ah! All right, well, we're definitely going to get crafty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let this dry, see what happens. I will let you know. I'll take photos. I'll show you on the next video. All that jazz. Hopefully, there'll be one on Wednesday. Um, with the you know, project on. Oh, this is Wednesday. No, wait, what is today? Monday? Monday. Yeah, today is Monday. Oh, no. See, I was supposed to be cut. I was supposed to be filming my Wednesday today. And instead, I'm Monday for Monday. So, okay, well, we may have some light afternoon, evening uh, videos for a while. Um, until I can get myself back on track and get things done for our midnight run. Maybe I'm filming the day of, and uh, then you guys are, you know, seeing it that afternoon. So, that's okay. That works, too. Oh, all right. Trial and error. All fun. All good. And I love you all very much, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.